Okay, this video is for toaster fueling. Right, you say your comp is at, is at rock bottom. All players go through ups, highs, and lows of maybe high and low confidence and feeling satisfied, dissatisfied, right? So this is normal. I want to share some tools with you that can have, help you rapidly improve your enjoyment and get some more fun out of training and playing. The first is a kick trainer. Right? A kick trainer is a tool that a lot of clubs around the world encourage their youth players to use because it helps you rapidly improve your first touch and it helps you improve your awareness, your breathing, your timing, your rhythm. You can cram months of training into days or weeks with just this ball on the road. It's cheap, it's lightweight, it's portable. I tell players to take a soccer vacation Bring this ball everywhere you go so that you can get a lot of touches, right? The more touches you get, the more mistakes you have. You can, you can make. The more mistakes you make, the more that you can learn from those mistakes, right? So you really want to start to just get into a nice habit of effortless practice and effortless playing, right? I used to, I used to focus, I used to think that, I, a long time ago, I didn't know how to train, but I didn't know what I was aiming for. You want to get very relaxed, and you want to make it fun, and you want to keep it effortless, nice and easy, because when you're relaxed on the field, you have the ability to make great decisions, you, have, you can make great passes, you can take great shots. So the key is being super relaxed, but also getting a lot of touches in a fun way. So this tool, I think, is something that can really change your life. This is the Solo, SKLZ Solo Kick Trainer. The second thing you want to practice is the dribbling sequence. It's called the Tom Turnbull dri Dribbling Sequence. It looks like this. With the ball of any size, you go outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, Inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. The reason why this is so effective is because it's going to help you rapidly improve your dribbling abilities by by making them. It's going to make it muscle memory because when you say it out loud, it establishes this mind-body connection. So just repeating it over and over and over, it's gonna make it so that when you get on the field, you're not gonna be thinking about, you know, how do I, how do I touch it, right? How, how, how do I dribble? You're just gonna be able to move effortlessly around the field and just have a lot of fun. So, but you have to invest the time and energy to make it, to develop a dribbling habit. So you could start by a few minutes a day, Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. If you do that a few minutes a day, you're going to start to see a rapid improvement in your soccer abilities. And right, so what I'm showing you here are two of the most essential ways that you could elevate your training. So this is going to give you, um, this is going to raise your. Um, this is going to raise the trajectory of your training because now if you just do these things if, if these were the only things you did it's going to really help you improve because this is smart training because it's effortless it's fun and you don't need a lot to do it right i'm not saying buy a lot of cones i'm not saying you know spend this crazy a crazy buy some type of training program it's like if you can make a if you can find a ball tennis ball even and attach some string to it or get a size one ball and put some rope connect some rope with some duct tape to a size one ball then you could just start getting a lot of touches everywhere you go that's kind of the beauty of what i'm sharing is that it's very you don't need a lot of stuff and you could do it anywhere you are so try those things right and make make or invest in a kick trainer uh, the cheapest one i found is the solo m uh, the SKLZ solo kick trainer from Amazon and just start bringing a ball, a ball with you and practice that Tom Turnbull dribbling sequence. Outside, outside, 
inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Do that over and over and over. Just like the Karate Kid. If you've never seen the Karate Kid, watch the Karate Kid, and then you'll understand what I mean with this, with, by, wow, um, why that this is so, this is so powerful. We'll make the connection. So give those things a try and reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.